will increased rate of fire outperform reduced penetration. What is the purpose of these wheels and what this guy is doing here? Download free Eagles app to complete the tasks and get Golden Eagles for free. And referral code for bonus GE in the description. Autoblinder 41 is Italian armored car equipped with 20mm auto cannon. Unlike usual tanks who reload after each shot, this vehicle's gun is loaded with clips of 8 shells. You can either shoot them one by one or hold the button to empty the clip quickly with 500 rounds per minute rate of fire. After the clip is empty, it takes 6 seconds for another 8 shells to be loaded. Ability to shoot so many rounds is possible because of the small caliber, but at the same time, the small caliber gun is limited to use less powerful shells having less penetration and damaging effect. There are three types of ammunition belts. Default belt contains mix of armor-piercing incendiary and high explosive shells. That means half of them detonates on impact and have no effect versus armored vehicles, so is mostly useful against aircraft. Second belt is more interesting. It is made of armor-piercing incendiary shells only. Compared to ammunition of other tanks, it has very small penetration. Maximum of 41 mm. It drops to 21 at 1 km range. Each shell contains a very little amount of explosives, and after penetrating at least 15 mm of armor, fuse activates and explodes inside enemy's vehicle, creating a very small amount of fragments that are not able to kill anyone inside on their own. But if you consider the quantity of the shells you can shoot in a short time, it is more than possible to disable an enemy if you empty a whole clip inside enemy tank without directly hitting the crew. The third belt gives you a chance to kill even the heaviest opponents. It is a combination of equal amount armor-piercing incendiary and high-velocity armor-piercing shells. High-velocity shells are lighter, that lets them to accelerate more using the same amount of gunpowder. As a result, they offer significantly more penetration at very close range, up to 64 mm, but because of air resistance, loses most of their power at 500 m distance where they are outperformed by common armor-piercing projectiles. And yet, this is the only belt that will give you a chance to penetrate most of the tanks frontally if you are close enough. If you want to minimize your time reloading, you can shoot your projectiles one by one, aiming at different crew members for maximum effect per bullet. But shooting precisely has a huge drawback. As penetration is small, you can't count on penetration, and even if you do, low caliber projectile has small post penetration effect. What you can be sure about is that enemy will notice someone knocking into his armor. Once enemy notices you, there will be a duel you are very likely to lose, because enemy's shell are more powerful. So I found it to be the safest option to quickly shoot a swarm of bullets. There is a good chance that vehicle will be destroyed or at least crippled, giving you time to safely reload and knock out remaining crew members. But when enemy shoots at you, you better hope he uses low caliber machine gun as it is the only thing your 8mm of armor can stop. Your turret has 18mm thick plates, but that is still not enough to stop armor piercing round of 50 cal machine gun, so better hide behind something more reliable, or make use of a really good 12 degrees gun's depression to hide your hull and minimize exposure. Nevertheless, you are likely to survive few hits, as armor thickness is too small to activate fuses of APAG shells. But the fact that enemy's shell went through your vehicle without detonating doesn't make you very happy anyway. Historically, Autoblinder 41 had two driving positions, with one driver facing forward and another backwards. So in total, vehicle has 4 crew members. That positively affects survivability, 
as getting hit into turret will still leave you a chance to fight back after gunner is replaced. According to vehicle stat, the maximum speed is 78 km per hour. And you might think, car has little armor, so many wheels, and even two driving positions, because one driver is not enough to handle all that speed, right? No. In practice, maneuverability is very influenced by surface. In city maps, or at least where you have roads, the vehicle will be one of the fastest, including all the difficulties of controlling fast-moving armored cars. In reality, the spare wheels fitted to its sides were helping the vehicle to go over rough terrain, and it needs that help. Because if on average surface you can expect to reach about 35 km per hour, which is half of your maximum speed, then driving on sand or snow, and especially uphill, it can drop to less than 10. The only good thing is that vehicle has 4 reverse gears, providing a good backward speed, which is again mostly limited to the type of terrain. Autoblinda 41 also has 8mm coaxial machine gun, which I was always forgetting about since the main gun acts pretty much the same way. Vehicle is capable of protecting itself from air attacks better than other tanks as combination of machine gun and auto cannon provides enough firepower to deal with enemy aircraft. And yet, turret rotation of 24 degrees makes it more similar with tanks than SPAAs. And most importantly, gun's elevation of 20 degrees will only let you engage low-flying targets. In arcade, just like any other vehicle with little armor, you will be suffering more especially because there is no airstrike or even improved optics that usually benefits light tanks. But instead you can finally take advantage of your speed no matter the terrain, and you will need that speed, as markers appear over long distance and your shells lose a lot of penetration over range, you will be forced to get as close as possible at the beginning of a match, if you want to penetrate someone. Otherwise, you will be limited to shoot only lightly armored vehicles. I would say that spamming shots is the only advantage of Auto Blinda. Instead of firing one powerful round at a time, it fires eight weaker ones. As a result, you don't need to aim too much, as the probability to hit a target increases with quantity of projectiles fired. That made it very comfortable to shoot at distant targets, as it's enough to roughly adjust for gravity. Being at battle rating 1.0 means that you will always be overtiered, as there are no weaker vehicles. But in general, that is enough to deal with any opponent as long as you try to shoot at flat armor whenever possible. Because when your already small penetration is decreased by angled armor plates, it will be almost impossible to damage anyone at all. This way, your chances of penetration depends on positioning more than any other vehicle. 